so in this session I'm going to talk about the recovery techniques okay we're going to see what techniques or schemes that we have which ensure that my database is always in a consistent state okay so recovery techniques recovers from failures okay so first we are going to see what type of failures can we possibly have okay first failure or the first category of failure is a transaction failure okay when a transaction fails or a transaction failure okay obviously a transaction can fail right so what could be the reasons the reason is probably a logical error has occurred okay for example uh, i say that withdraw 5000 from my account if let's suppose rebel has only 10000 or for that matter if he has only 3000 okay and my transaction is withdraw 5000 okay then my transaction is going to fail because i cannot withdraw 5000 from an account which only has 3000 i cannot have my balance as negative okay so in this case there is an logical error which is a bad input okay similarly we can have other problems like resources unavailable or i am blocked on a particular resource and i am getting timed out and such kind of errors result in logical transaction failure okay other transaction failure is a system error transaction failure okay for example suppose my transaction is blocked on a deadlock okay and system decides that my transaction has to be aborted okay so in that case i have to pay the penalty that my work would be undone and my transaction would be failed or would result in a failure in my transaction so this is the second type of error that we can possibly have in a transaction failure okay so how do we recover from this we can recover from this by either undoing the transaction okay or or rather let me just write it as or redoing the transaction we will see when we redo a transaction and when we undo a transaction okay if i am if i have passed my commit point then i need to redo and if i have failed before my commit point then i have to do an undo okay before commit and after commit okay okay this would be rather after partial commit okay before partial commit or after partial commit you just remember partial commit is the state when the last statement in my set of statements that the transaction is composed of is executed or is successfully completed okay then the second type of failure that i can have is a system crash okay let's suppose my operating system gets corrupted or something bad happens to my display adapter and everything went crashing down so all these kinds of failures are termed as system crash okay say os corruption or a hardware failure and stuff like that in that case 